I'm Jacob. And I'm Jacob. And we are the Baker Street Illusionists. And this is... Top 10 ways how to celebrate Christmas. Or a BSI Christmas. Nice. First up on the list is Christmas yodeling, I believe. in here. Especially something that didn't give a kid a big boo-boo. Exactly. Shall we start? Yeah. Let's see. What do I have? A baseball cap. My name is Nana. A sword. That works. That works. Okay, let's see what I have. I have a helium can canister for filling up hot party balloons. I got toxic waste. Very good. Very good. Let's see, what do I have? What do I have? I have... What is this? I don't know. They'll love it. Okay. I got dynamite. That works. That's not dangerous at all. Let's see. Oh, look! 
a $100 wine voucher. Kids will love this. What the heck is that? It's a big dude. Pick me wine tester. That's terrible. It works. Let's see, what else do I have? What else, what else, what else, what else? Oh! Ooh, I got this, I got this, I got this. Auto Max! Fun for everyone! I got an ammo belt. Nice, but it's still missing one thing. Oh, what is What is that? A gun. is how you pack a shoebox. No dad. <laughs> you thought the guest star was Johnny Bucks, didn't you? But no, you were wrong. The real guest star was McDougal's Pygmy Swine Taster. Pygmy, come on down. Say hi, Pygmy. Hi, it's great to meet you. <laughs> yeah. Next one. Okay, eating three kilograms of figgy pudding. Each day until December 25th. <laughs> oh. mm. It's over. Oh. <laughs> Nasty. Oh, don't do that. Right, Pygmy? So we'll call yeah, it's bad. So we'll call okay. it nine ways. That's what you should do, just nine. Seriously. Yes, don't do it. Okay, so the next one is opening Christmas cards. A great way to celebrate Christmas. But do not be like Billy Bob who photocopies his derriere and sends it out in Christmas cards. This is for you. Okay. <laughs> Don't photocopy your derriere. Okay, next on the list. Having a fans and fans. Fans! Fans! Yeah, fans of the BSI! Yeah! Okay. Hey. Fans and ah. fans and family over for dinner. Note, make sure you do not invite Billy, Billy Bob to cook like we did. Dinner should be ready in a little bit. Um, uh, let me go check on this real quick. Billy Bob, 50 hungry people just arrived. When's dinner gonna be ready? Be about five minutes. Sing the sad hearts to cheer. Ding dong, ding dong. Christmas bells are ringing. Through the town, Christmas bells are ringing, caroling, caroling up and down. Christmas bells are ringing. Mark your words, what we sing. And the turkey still tasted delicious. Now, the next thing on the list is buying a Christmas tree. That is a good way tons of families celebrate Christmas everywhere. Good grief. And now, number eight, having a rock and roll Christmas party at your house with friends and family and a white elephant gift exchange. <laughs> Oh. 
Here's an example of a lame gift. Wonder what it could be this year. Oh, it's a new i Kindle XL7. Well, like me, you shouldn't have. Now here is an example of an awesome gift. Fun. Hey, Billy Bob, hand me another ground cracker. Hmm? Thank you. I need no one now. Billy Bob, why did you do this? We're trying to build the gingerbread house. You naughty boy! <laughs> December 25th, you can wake up at 1 in the morning like you're supposed to. Okay, and don't be like Billy Bob and open all his Christmas presents on Christmas Eve. Bad Billy, bad. And don't be like Tommy where he gets up at noon because that's a lazy old pub and he doesn't have any presents yet. Why? Because it's a lazy old pub, like I said. Okay, and you know what? All of his brothers come up in the morning at 1 a.m. like they were supposed to and they opened all of his presents. But wait. They saved a few things just for him. All of their packs of underwear and socks. And now I say good night from BSI, Jacob, Jacob, and Pick Me, our guest star. Good night.